You mustn't play near boats or water without a grown-up, but I've got special permission to go on board so I can show you how a lock works to get a narrow boat from one level to another. On this part of the canal, there are 30 locks. It's called a flight of locks and it's a bit like a staircase for narrow boats. So they can go up and down the hill. All locks work the same way using gates called lock gates. And this one has one at the top and two at the bottom. And this middle part here is called the chamber. The chamber is very deep. It would be dangerous to get too close to the edge. And it's in the chamber where the narrow boat can travel up or down. But before we jump on board, I think we need to take a closer look at how a lock works. When a narrow boat wants to travel downhill, it reaches the lock gate. In the lock gate below is a little door called a paddle. The paddle is opened by turning a special handle called the windlass. The water from above rushes into the chamber below and it fills up. When the level of the water in the chamber is at the same level as the water above, the lock gates are pushed open using a big arm called a balance beam. The paddles are wound down and the boat glides through into the chamber. And the lock gates are closed behind it. Next, the paddle in the lock gate at the other end of the chamber is opened. This makes the water rush out, a bit like going down a plug hole, and the boat gets lower and lower. When the level of the water is at the same on both sides, the balance beam is pushed to open the gate. And the boat moves through and on its way. Isn't that clever? I'd like to see it all working for real, though, would you? This is John, and he's our skipper. He's going to be driving the narrow boat through the lock today. First, I'm opening up the paddle, the little trap door at the bottom of the lock gate, which lets the water in. And I'm using the special handle called the windlass. It's actually quite hard work. <laughs> wow! The chamber needs to fill all the way up to the same level as our boat. There we go, the chamber is full of water and you can see it's at the same level as the canal where our narrow boat is, which means we can open the lock gate. I thought it would be really heavy, but actually I can get a good grip with my feet. Ah, there we go, that's the gate open. Time to get on the boat. I'm being extra careful as boats can be wobbly. Once the boat is in the chamber, the lock gates can be closed. We're nearly ready to go and I'm going to use my special camera on a long pole so that you can come on board and travel down the lock with me. But first, the lock keepers, Steve and Jill, need to open the paddles at this end so that the water in the chamber flows out. Wow! We're actually moving down really quickly. Bye! Whilst we're just going down the lock, let's go to the other end of the boat to see what it looks like from the captain's point of view. Wow! Look at that, can you see all of the water? At the moment, the water is gushing out of the chamber so that the boat is at the same level over that side. Right, let's go back through. When you're down here and the chamber's empty, you can really see just how enormous the lock gates are. And I can't wait for them to open to reveal a whole new part of the canal. Whoa! The gates are open. We can continue on down the hill. Absolutely brilliant.